Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Good evening, Jose. It's a pleasure to see you. Carlita, hello. Thank you. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Oscar, hello, Oscar. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Nice to see you. And we have Janira, right? Welcome, Janira. Welcome to the class. Okie dokie. We have a lot of material today. Tenemos bastante material, right? And we have to hurry. Tenemos que apurarnos antes de que venga el huracán. <laughs> okay. Now, let's start with the platform, right? Immediately. Nos vamos a ir a la plataforma inmediatamente. Right? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Oops. Right. Okay. 2.3. Here, right, we're going to review the video have plus noun, feel plus adjective, right? And one conversation. I feel homesick. Now, let's review this. Vamos mm -hmm. a hacer un pequeño repaso. El uso de have plus noun, feel plus adjective, right? Pay attention. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so homesick. good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Good. Now let's practice pronunciation. <laughs> practice pronunciation. Repeat after me. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. Maybe you have the flu. No. I think I just feel a little homesick. I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. I just feel a little homesick for, for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Or you can say I feel better already, right? Good. Any question about the vocabulary? Any word? Yes, yes, Jose. Home, homesick. Homesick is that you, you miss your house. You miss, for example, Jose, you live in, in El Salvador and you yeah. go to United States. And then you're in United States. Yeah. Someday you listen. Salude. <laughs> and you start crying, right? I feel homesick. <laughs> I miss El Salvador right now. <laughs> no, it's true for, for millions of Salvadorian, right? Remember, we have yeah. approximately 2 million Salvadorian living in the oh. United States, right? 
cerca de 2 millones de salvadoreños, más todavía, Andrés. Yo creo que ya deben llegar los más. 3 millones, right? Y cada vez que ven el himno, okay. Thanks. they feel homesick, right? So what, Ay, what can you cry. do? <laughs> What can you do? Is it, <risa> venite, te voy a llevar una pupusería para que no extrañes a Salvador. Yeah. <risa> ok. De yeah. Kenichi, right? Lo llevaron a un okay. restaurante japonés para sentirse mejor. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Good. Any mm. other question? Questions, questions, questions? No, ok. So let's do something practical, right? Eh, all the Brian's, todos los, el Brian, <risa> Todos los el Brian you, uh, are going to be the boys in the class. Todos los muchachos de la clase van a ser Brian, right? And uh, the girls, the girls are going to be Kenichi. Kenichi, right? Understand? So, let's see. Vamos a ver si no, no hay mucha disturbancia del, del micrófono. Vamos a ver si lo podemos hacer, ¿ok? Brian, the boys. Kenichi, the girls, right? Ready? One... Two, three. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? How are you? How are you? I'm not so good. I'm not so good, actually. Why? Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a bike. Maybe you Maybe have the flu. Have the flu. No, I think, no, no, I I think I you should feel like I'm sick for Japan. Sick for Japan. That's not too bad. bad. But, but maybe I, I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. restaurant. That's, That's great. Right. That's, That's right. Brian. Thanks, Brian. Brian. I think right. better already. Okay, very good, right? Considering that everybody was with the microphone open, you did very well, right? But let's re review That's some uh, pronunciation. Listen, repeat after me. What's the matter? Matter. What's the matter? Mm. Matter. Headache. Headache. Listen, headache. it's correct. Headache. Headache. No. Headache. 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 Like headache. cake. No, cake. Headache. Voy a comprar un cake. <laughs> you know. Headache. Yeah. Backache. 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 Uh -huh. okay. okay. And then let me see. Idea. Great idea. 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 Good idea, right? Okay. So now let's continue watching the, the video. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, now. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. Okay, listen. A headache... A backache and the flu, those are nouns. Son nombres. They yeah. are nouns, right? So when I use have, I have to say a noun, right? Like I say, I have, I have a, a cell phone, for example, right? I have a cell phone. I have a pen. Right? Pen, cell phone, table, a mouse, for example. This is my mouse. Uh, those are nouns, right? So I use with have. Now, what about feel? Listen, please. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Okay, so homesick, better, and well are adjectives, right? So for have, nouns, and for feel, we use adjectives. For example, you cannot say, I feel a headache. I feel a headache. No, no. I have a headache. Or you can say, I have, I have a, I have bad. I have good. No. I have a headache. I have a problem. I have something, right? Now. And then I feel homesick. I feel good. Like the sun, right? I feel good. So good is an adjective, right? Understand? Okay, and then we have here some negative adjectives. Sick, 
se enferma, right? Awful. Odioso, cae mal, right? Al estilo Cristiano Ronaldo, right? Uy. Al estilo Ramos del Madrid, right? Awful, right? Terrible. Uh, sorry, perdón. Felicidades al Madrid que ganó ahora. <laughs> Congratulations. Aunque yo le voy al Barça. <laughs> okay. Terrible. Terrible is, oh, I feel terrible. I feel, you know, bad. Negative, right? Negative. I feel miserable. Miserable, right? You know, me echaron el trabajo, me dio coronavirus y perdió el Madrid. Ah, no. <laughs> okay, so miserable. Miserable, right? Now, positive. I feel fine. Uh -huh. Okay. I feel great. Terrific. You know, terrific is positive, right? Fantastic, right? Me dio un billete de 20 en la calle. ¿no? Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Good. Ganó, ganó el alianza, you know? <laughs> okay. So, fantastic. Good. So, now, eh, let's continue watching the video. Negative adjectives. Sick, awful, terrible, miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine, great, terrific, fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula, subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I, then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective, homesick. Or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick, awful, terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Very good. Now we're going to read the commentaries. Ladies and gentlemen, the commentary, right? Analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I. Then we need to add feel. Sorry, Follow sorry. this formula to do that. Side of this chart. Excuse me, excuse me. No, no How puedo to form pararlo. statements Permita, with segundito, yes. Okay, good. Okay, very good. Thank you, I'm sorry. Okay. Commentary, oh, sorry, I don't see commentaries, right? Otra vez tengo problema, ¿verdad? No me cargan los posts que me envían, sorry. Pero sí han comentado, ¿verdad? <laughs> yes? José, yes. Ricardo, Carla, yes? Yes. 
Todavía no. <risa> Algunos sí, ¿verdad? No. no. Eh, Eloisa. Yes, teacher. Rolando, sí. Brenda, también. Oscar. Yes, ok. Sorry. Eh, no sé por qué no me carga sus comentarios, ¿verdad? Pero quizás vamos a leerlos en la siguiente clase. Ok. Let's continue, right? Let's continue. So, tenemos bastante material. Now, no le check. No le check, right? Uh, listen to the conversation, he says, right? Where do these people hurt? There may be one or two correct answers for each conversation. Okay, listen, please. Conversation one, we have been the head, the neck, or the throat, right? What part? Listen to the audio, please. Ok, sorry, no, no sé por qué no se escucha. Se tarda, se tarda un poco, teacher. Ah, ok, good, Me thank espera. you, thank you. Ok, I was scared, ya me había asustado. Where do these people yeah. hurt? Ok, thank you. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold, I have a headache, and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Okay, again, right? Two. Again. Where do these people hurt? So the question is, ¿qué es lo que le duele? ¿Qué parte le duele, right? I think I'm going to go home early. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? What's the matter, Ben? What is the problem, Ben? I think I have a cold. I think I have a cold. I have a headache. I have a headache. And I have a sore throat. And I have a uh, uh, sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Feel better. Okay, now you tell me head, neck, or throat, right? Don't tell me, right? Es una pregunta eh, retórica, no me la van a contestar, <laughs> sino que en la plataforma lo van a hacer. Okay, now conversation two, right? Allison. Listen to Allison, please. Two. Ow! Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Okay, what part? The hip? Cadera, right? Back? Spanda. And elbow. Okay. Look at elbow, right? Yes. De codo. El que le duele alguno a la hora de invitar, ¿verdad? Ok. <ríe> Now, again. Two. Ok, that was the desmadration, right? Ahí es donde se cae la chica. <ríe> Ow. Oh, my gosh, are you... Oh, my gosh. Mi Dios, right? Oh, my gosh. Are you okay? okay, Allison? Are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. Not really? My back and my elbow feel... My back and my elbow? Really? My back and my elbow feel terrible. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? Can you stand up? I think so. I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Yeah, thanks for your help. Okay, now what part? The hip, the back, or the elbow, right? You tell me. 
It could be one, two, or three, right? Now, conversation three, right? Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey. Listen to Jeffrey. Three. Here, have some ice cream. Hmm? Sorry. Travation here, right? Se nos trabó. Give me a second. Hmm? Sorry, I will make it again, right? Lo vamos a abrir de nuevo. Porque... Okay, let me see. Conversation two, conversation three. Uh-huh, yes, it's okay, right? Okay, give me a second. Vamos a ver si ahora funciona. Three. Okay. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Again, right? Three. For your help. Three. Three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Three. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't. Uh, I love ice cream, but... Can't eat any cold food. I can't eat any cold food. Why not? Why not? I have a really bad toothache. I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, that is Jeffrey, right? Conversation four, right? Marta, the wrist... The eyes and the hand, right? Marta. You know what is wrist, right? La muñeca. Muñeca. Okay. The muñeca. But this is the, the one in the hand, right? Okay. Listen again. The conversation four. Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes. And my wrists are sore too. Well... Take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Okay. A really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Number four. Again, listen. Four. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's the problem? I have really sore eyes. I really have sore eyes. Sore eyes. And my wrists are sore, too. And my wrists are sore, too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Okay. Good. Any question? If you still have questions, so you can listen and listen and listen again, right? Until you have the correct answer, right? But this is easy. You just take one, two, or, or three, right? Mm -hmm. In some of the cases, we have two answers, right? Any question? Okay. So if no question, let's go to the video, right? Este video se lo debía, right? Common medication. Listen, please. Common medication. Medicinas comunes, right? Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take... Give as many examples as you can. 
look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness. Okay, now we're going to make an exercise, right? In this case, I will go one by one. What do you do when you have a problem? When you have a headache, when you have a stomach ache, when you have a, a, a sore elbow, a sore throat, um, the flu, fever, etc., etc. What do you do, right? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it says, whenever, cuando, siempre cuando, right? I have a headache, I take an aspirin, right? So let's start with one example. Carla, please. Whenever I have a cool, I take what? Carla? Cool? Um, when, whenever I have a cold, right? <laughs> uh, a cold, right? I, I have uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, antacid, aspirin, muscle cream, cough syrup, cough drops, cold, cold tablets. Oh, cold pills, sorry. This is pill, right? Es para la gripe, okay. ¿verdad? Yeah, yes, es eh, resfriado. Cold. Uh, when I have a call, I take. Uh -huh. I take what? Take. I take. Take call. Uh -huh. Call. Call pills. Call pills, right? Okay. Pastilla para el refrío, right? Good. Now, Luis Enrique, please tell me another example, Luis. Yes, whenever I have, Vamos, Luis. yes, whenever I have a cold, I, I take some aspirins. Okay, that's another option. Thank you, Luis. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Reina, please. Reina Loisa. When? Uh, give me another example, Reina. Okay, when I have um, fever. Así se dice fiebre, ¿verdad? Fever. Fever. <laughs> I, ha I take... Um, um, how does it say? Acetaminophen. No me acuerdo. Acetaminophen. Uh -huh. The same. Acetaminophen. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so in English is pH, right? Solo que en inglés lleva pH. Acetaminophen, right? Oh, I take gas. Okay, come on. Um, when I have a fever, I take a fever. 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 I take a um, acetaminophen. Good. That's it, right? <laughs> Very good, right? Now, more example, right? You can include other medicine, right? Uh, Jose, please give me one example, Jose. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever I have the uh, fever, I take um, some anagel, as it? analgesic, analgesic, right? Analgesic. Uh huh. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, and let me see. Oscar, Oscar, give me one example, Oscar. Oscar Aparicio. Okay, so uh, Ricardo, please help me, Ricardo. Uh, whenever I have a cool, I take. Um, Aspirin. Aspirin, right? Okay, good. Criseida, please. I will help you, Criseida, with your example. Listen, this is eye drops. Eye drops, right? 
And the problem is, listen, Criseida, the problem is sore eyes, dolor de ojo, right? Sore eyes. So now your sentence. Sería, sería whenever I have uh, eyes. Sore eyes? Sore eyes? Sore eyes? Sore eyes. Sore eyes. I take. Ay, no veo bien la letrita, teacher. Eye drops. <laughs> I dropped. <laughs> yo tampoco lo veo. Yo soy por, por lógica. <laughs> I dropped. <laughs> okay. Good. Thank you very much. Very good. Now we're going to continue. Listen, please. Let's go to the commentaries. No. No commentaries. Okay. Good. Now uh, let's go to the topic of today. Hoy sí vamos a la clase de ahora. <laughs> Siempre vamos un poquito atrasadito, pero la cosa es que me entiendan los temas. Okay, now let's go here, right? Power presentation, this is the class for today. Can you see the screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes? The apple and the pencil yes. here? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Yes. So today is yes. November the third. Okay, very good, thank you. Now, uh, the topic is imperatives, right? Imperatives. Huh? In a conversation, don't work too hard. No trabajé demasiado, right? Ya mucho pisto tenés, ya no trabajé. He says, don't work too hard. And reading 10, 10 simple ways to improve your health. 10 formas de cómo mejorar su salud, right? Okay? Now, let's start with the, with the lesson, right? Uh, lesson objective. Rolando, can you read the, the, the objective for today, please, Rolando? By the end of the class, you will learn how to use, use positive and negative imperative. Additionally, you, you will also practice in conversation which illustrate how this topic is using in real life serving. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Eh, Permítame un segundito. Eh, Luis Enrique, ¿me puede escuchar, Luis? Que parece que aquí eh, no le está funcionando. Sí, sí, sí fuerte, fuerte, ah, okay. claro. Perdón, es que, es que me apareció una opción, Luis, bien raro. Decía... Eh, pide, a mí también me apareció. Pedir desactivar el audio, dice. Ajá, a mí Como también, que usted no sé me estuviera me pidiendo a mí que lo silencie, que, 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 ¿verdad? Algo así. Sí, 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 a mí, no, a mí también me apareció. Ahí, ahí estamos bien. bien. Ok, sorry, Luis. Sí, Excuse gracias. Me. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you. Now, let's continue with this. Uh, that's the objective. And this is the vocabulary for today. Listen, please. Exhausted, tired, pills, rest, stay up, health, floss, gums, stretch, muscles, challenge, brain, crossword puzzle, moisturizer. Okay, now, repeat us to me, please. Exhausted. 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 Tired. Tired. Pills. Pills. Rest. 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 Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Listen, no, eh, 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 no, it's eh, stay, no, no, it's stay. 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 Stay up. Mm. Help. Health. Health. Floss. 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 Gums. 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 Stretch. 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 Muscles. 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 Challenge. 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 Brain. 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 Crossword puzzle. Crossword puzzle. Monsterizer. Monsterizer. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, eh, Oscar ya le recibí su mensaje. Ni modo, ahora tiene que estar como espectador porque no le funciona. Lo siento. El, el micrófono. Okay, let's continue. Now, do you have questions for the vocabulary? Any word that you don't understand? Questions? Questions? Uh, 
Cross. What's mean crossword puzzle? Crossword puzzle is crucigrama, right? Crucigrama. Uh -huh. uh, listen, puzzle en inglés es todo lo que se llama uh, como juego de mesa, ¿verdad? Este, como crucigramas, eh, sudoku, eh, eh, rompecabezas, rompecabezas. Uh -huh, etc. Those are puzzles, right? Y el, el tipo de puzzle que es le, eh, palabras cruzadas, lo que llamamos nosotros crucigrama, ¿verdad? Se llama crossword puzzle, uh -huh. que es el que conocemos como crucigrama, right? Good. Any other question? Teacher, I have yes. one question. Tell me, tell What me, tell me. What is flows? Flows. Um, moisturizer. Flows is eh, hilo dental. Hilo okay. dental, ¿verdad? Pero estamos hablando de, de, de hilo dental para limpieza de dientes, ¿verdad? Ok. Si, si se entiende, ¿verdad? Okay. No mal pensado. Sí, no, no, no se llama, el otro se llama G-String, <ríe> por si quieren saberlo también, va. Una G, una rayita y luego String, que, que quiere decir como, como hilo, como, como tira, ¿verdad? Que es que, algo que estira, es G-String, ¿verdad? Right? Moisturizer es como suavizador. Maquillaje. Ah, ok. Ah, bueno, la, más que todas las mujeres usan un, un tipo de crema, ¿verdad? Para el, la piel o para la cara, el rostro. Uh, que sirve para, para suavizar, ¿verdad? O para ir ocultando ahí un poquito las, las, you know, los años. Los días okay. de cansancio. Ok, yes, excelente. Thank you. Thank you. <risa> Moisturizer, ¿verdad? Las arrugas prematuras. Correcto, no. Es, ellas no, pues jamás tienen, ¿verdad? Sí, Pero, no, de ninguna sí, manera. Sí, sí. No, jamás, siempre bella. Ok, now. Teacher, what means stay up? Stay up is eh, eh, permanecer levantado, despierto. Stay okay. up, right? Mm -hmm. Así como nosotros que estamos ya bien noche en clase de inglés. But stay up, right? Okay? Good. Stretch is this. Ah. Stretch, right? Oh, okay? Challenge is reto. Challenge. Reto. De mm -hmm. Podría decirse también desafío. Desafío, correct. Desafío, reto, right? Yes, good. Gums is, eh, right. eh, ¿cómo se dice en español? Las, las encías, encías, right? The gums, the gum. También se usa para borrador, ¿verdad? Gum. Y para chicle, gum. Gum, right? Good. Now, any other question? No question, so let's continue. Let's moisturize. Moisturizer, right? Moisturizer. Okay, good. Now, let's continue. Perdón, teacher, moisture, yes. moisture, moisturizer. Es, es suavizante. Es, ah, suavizante, ok. Es como crema. Como crema. Como ajá, una crema es. para el cuerpo. Yes, es para poner la piel suavecita, ¿verdad? No sé si hay otra el, palabra. Eh, ¿Y la pronunciación, teacher? Moisturizer. 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 Okay. Mm. Moisturizer. Moisturizer, yeah. Ok, thank you. Eh, no sé si habrá otra palabra eh, suavizante, un hidratante, un hidratante también para la piel. <ríe> ok, good, let's continue. Imperative, right? When do we use imperative? Listen, please pay attention. We use imperative to give orders, ordena, right? Warnings, advertencias, right? Advice, consejo, and request, peticiones. Cuando piden ustedes un favor, request. Right? Okay, now, please. Orders, warnings, advice, and requests. Then we use the, the imperative, right? And then, in affirmative, we use the verb, and we use the complement, right? En las oraciones imperativas, no se usa sujeto. No se usa, for example, eh, Rolando speaks English, right? Carla visits her parents. Eh, Henry likes soda, for example, right? No, we don't use noun. No usamos un nombre. Solo usamos el verbo, right? De una sola vez. Yes? Good. And uh, the, the noun is implicit. El nombre está implícito ahí. No se ve, pero ahí está. Es you. Todo el tiempo va a ser you, ¿verdad? Okay? Pero no se pone. Solo el verbo vamos a poner siempre, okay? 
In negative, we use don't. Do not, right? Todo el tiempo, don't. Luego el verbo y luego el complemento. Pero repito, no usamos sujeto. No se usa el sujeto, ¿ok? Good. Now, imperatives. Orders and commands. Examples, like, listen. Wake up now, right? Levantate, right? Cuando los niños no se quieren levantar. Levantate, si puedo, que es hora de la clase. Right? Wake up now, right? That's an order. Command, right? Un comando. Don't open the door. No, don't open the door, right? It's an order. Warner and prohibition, right? Advertencias y prohibiciones. Watch out. Hey, cuidado. Watch out. No, don't touch me. Don't touch me. No me toques. No me toques, right? Don't touch me. Prohibition, right? Prohibición. Now, advice, consejo. Don't be panic. Que no te dé miedo, ¿verdad? Ya viene el huracán, pero no. Don't be panic. Don't eat too much. No comas mucho, ¿verdad? Para aquellos gorditos, un buen consejo, ¿verdad? Don't eat too much. Advice, right? Request. Instruction and request. Dar instrucciones y pedir favores. Listen. Go straight ahead. Váyase recto por ahí, ¿verdad? Turn right, cruce la derecha, turn left, cruce la izquierda. Instruction, right? Cuando damos instrucciones. En El Salvador, pues ya saben que decimos, váyase recto, ahí va a encontrar una tiendita, enfrente hay un palo y ahí se pone a vender una señora pan y de ahí cruce la derecha, right? <laughs> so those are the instructions in El Salvador, right? But in English, it says, go straight ahead. Váyase recto. Now, In instruction, right? Take a pill after a meal. Tomarse una pastilla después de cada comida, right? Request. Pedir algo, right? Let me alone, please. Déjame solo, right? Let me alone. Okay? That's it, right? Now let's review. We use imperative with orders, commands, like wake up now, don't open the door, right? Warning and prohibition. Watch out. Don't touch me. Advice. Don't be panic. Don't eat too much. Instructions and requests. Go straight ahead. Take a pill after a meal. Let me alone, please. Okay? So this is the use of imperative, right? Any question? Any questions so far? Questions? Teacher, tell me, una tell pregunta. Me. Uh -huh, tell me. Meal, meal and, and what is the different the meal or eat? Comer. Ah, uh, eat and meal. Ah, oh, good. Uh -huh. Eat is the action, right? Eat es la acción. Eat. Eat. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh -huh. es la acción. acción. Y mil es el nombre, noun. Mil es el mm, okay. nombre. Por ejemplo, el breakfast es un, es un meal, ¿sí? Meal. El lunch es un meal y el dinner son three meals. Yeah. Ajá, y entonces la, una oración puede decir, I eat one meal. Yo como una comida, <ríe> como una comida. Uh -huh. I eat a meal, right? ¿Understand? Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, me, thank you. Me, Meal is the noun and uh, eat is the action, right? Now, listen, yeah. commercial, right? Le, le voy a dar un comercial, right? Let me see. What is the meaning of, what is the meaning of desayuno in Spanish? Yeah. Desayuno, <laughs> what is the meaning? No, 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 the meaning, el significado de la palabra, desayuno. Breakfast. No, no, no. I didn't say translation. No dije tra traduzcámoslo, sino el, la definición de desayuno, right? La primera comida del día. No. Listen. Des es contra. Des. Por ejemplo, cuando yo digo desorden. Des hay un gran desorden. Quiere decir contra el orden. Contra el, orden. Sería, contra el ayuno. Contra el ayuno, ¿sí? 
destruir, ¿verdad? Des, deshacer. Deshacer es lo contrario a hacer, ¿verdad? Desayuno es ir en contra del ayuno. ¿Por qué? Porque usted ha estado dormido toda la noche y no ha comido nada. Bueno, al menos que se ha levantado sonámbulo ahí a, a la refri. Desayuno, contra el ayuno. ¿Ok? Ahora vámonos al breakfast. El breakfast significa lo mismo. Breakfast. Break. Quiere sí. decir quebrar el ayuno. Fast como adjetivo es rápido, pero como nombre es ayuno. Ayunar es no comer. Entonces, breakfast quiere decir quebrar el ayuno. Breakfast. Ok. ¿Understand? Esa fue la yes, cápsula teacher. informativa del día. <ríe> ok. It's Now okay. Let's, con let's continue, right? Vamos a irnos a la plataforma. And 2.8, right? Here. Imperatives. Let's watch the video, please. Listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation. Okay, let's practice the conversation, right? Give me a second. Yes, give me a second. I'm here. Okay, good. Now, repeat after me, please. Hello, Miss West. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? How are you today? How are you today? Okay. Not so good. Not so good. Not so good. Not so good. So, Not so good. what's wrong exactly? So, so what's, what's wrong, wrong exactly? Exactly. 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 I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm exhausted. exhausted. Mm. Mm. Again, mm. please re repeat. Mm. Mm. Okay, mm. good pronunciation. Eh? Good pronunciation. <laughs> Why are you so Why? tired? Why are you, are you so, so tired? tired? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I just I can't just sleep can't at night. Sleep night. I just I can't just sleep, can't sleep, sleep at, night. at night. Okay. 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 Let's take a look at you. Let's, Let's take, take a look, look at, at you. you. Take a look at you. Take, Take a look, a look at, you. at you. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you. Give you some I'm, I'm going M to I'm, give you. M -M 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 I'm, 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 I'm. Incorrect. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm going to give you some pills. I'm going, going to, give to give you some, you some pills. Take one pill every night. Take, Take one, one pill every night. Every night. Mm -hmm. After dinner. After, After dinner. dinner. Okay. 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 And don't drink coffee. 
and don't drink coffee, coffee. Tea. 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 tea or soda or soda or soda or, or petro ah no sorry petro is not included okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> anything else anything, anything else? else anything 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 else anything else yes yes don't yes. work yes. too hard don't, don't work, work, work too hard. hard. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Thanks, Dr. 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 Young. Okay, dokie. Any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Any question? No. No? Okay, let's continue, right? Watching the, the video in the structure. Hello, Ms. West. How are you? I don't know. I'm going to give you some tea, tea or soda. Any the conversation that we just heard illustrates a conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left-hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement too hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup. Don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so we have here, uh, as uh, we watch in the presentation of the PowerPoint, the imperatives don't use subject, right? Only the verb. And when they are negative, we use don't plus the verb, right? Work, stay, drink, etc., etc., right? Okay, and here we have a task that is similar to the one we did before, right? Igualito la que hicimos la vez pasada, right? If you have a cold, take cough syrup. If you have a headache, what is the solution? If you have a headache, right? What is the solution? Take a paracetamol. Take an aspirin. Ah, paracetamol. <laughs> Take a pill every four hours. Very good. I, I hear, I have some doctor here. Congratulations. Yes, because I, I have problems to understand, right? Uh, sometimes I don't understand why, why is the acetaminophen, the aspirin, right? For me, it's a Panadol. Right? Aleve. Panadol. Aleve. Uh -huh. What is the difference, right? I don't know. Yes. I don't drink too much pill, right? Casi no me gusta tomar pastillas a mí. <laughs> okay, now. So these are the solution, right? If uh, if you have uh, a backache, for example, a backache, what? Use muscle cream, right? Muscle cream. Ah, okay, when you have a, a, a backache, right? Okay. Or, 
Don't ¿Cómo go. sería, teacher, para como decir un parche? Parche, eh, it's a... Parche. It's a pad, it's a pad, but listen, listen. Uh, uh, a pad, it's... Uh, uh, a hitting pad. A hitting pad es... Es un como parche león, bro. remember? Mm -hmm. No sé, todavía venden eso yeah. en la farmacia, el parche león. <ríe> eh, sería tu, tu patch, patch es eh, como, como poner, ¿verdad? Eh, uh, the, the hitting pad, the hitting pad, right? Hitting, es que, pad. Que hitting, hitting es como que da calorcito, ¿verdad? En pad okay. es como, como, como almohadilla, no sé. Anticonceptivos. Uh, no, 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 But uh, the, the, the hitting patch is the, you know, el que, el que da calorcito cuando hay algún dolor muscular y, y yo, yo nunca lo he usado, pero no sé, en la farmacia los venden para cuando hay un dolor Son muscular. buenos, techo. Son buenos, ok. Ok. Dientes. <laughs> ok. Good. So, now, any question? No. Ok. So, just give me a second here. Ah, tengo un comentario. Ah, ups. Eliseo, ¿verdad? Tiene algunos problemas. Híjole, no puede escuchar, dice Eliseo. Bueno, pero por lo menos que vayamos viendo la pantalla junto acá, ¿verdad? So, no le check. No le check. We're going to make this together, right? Now, listen, please. Complete these sentences. Use the words in the book. In the box, sorry. Call, see, stay, take, don't go, don't worry, don't drink, don't eat. So notice that these are imperative, right? Imperatives. Call, stay, see, and take are affirmative. And go, worry, drink, and eat are negative, right? So let's go together, right? A dentist. What is correct to say a dentist? Call a dentist, see a dentist, take a dentist, stay a dentist, don't worry. I don't think, right? No creo que sea don't worry, pero me parece más bien que está en el grupo de los positivos, uh -huh. ¿verdad? No, don't say, shh. no, no, shh. don't say, don't say. <laughs> okay, now too much, too much. What, stay too much, don't drink too much. Call too much, don't worry too much, don't eat too much, don't go. Aquí podría haber dos, en mi opinión, ¿verdad? Prueben con ambas, quizás con, con don't eat. Don't drink. Ajá, uh -huh. y don't drink, ¿verdad? Cualquiera de dos podría ser. Don't worry too. Don't worry too much también, sí. No se preocupe demasiado. ¿eh? Ok, two aspirin, dos aspirinas, right? Take, sí, sí, no creo que sea, ¿verdad? Okay. And then to school. Si están enfermos, ¿qué van a hacer? Don't eat, don't go, or see to school, right? In bed. Quedarse, no tomar, llamar, no preocuparse. In bed, right? A doctor. Stay a doctor. Don't drink a doctor. No se beba al doctor. <laughs> Call a doctor. Uh, what, what will be the, the correct one? Uh, coffee. Se mita en coffee. <laughs> don't drink. The cold. Take. Don't worry. Or, or don't eat. Then coffee, right? A mí el doctor ya me lo prohibió el café. Sorry. Tengo como cinco meses de no tomar café, right? <laughs> Okay, now, listen, any candy, candy, ooh, so stay, don't drink, cold, take, don't worry, don't eat, 
And then any candy, dulces, right? So what is the correct option? Here is easier. Aquí estamos facilitos. Solo una de las opciones aquí. Solamente, right? Okay, good. Any question? Okay, so we go to the last video, right? And we finish the class with this video. Pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. By reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 simple ways to improve your health. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. 4. Drink 8 cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. 5. Stretch for 5 minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 6. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. 8. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. 9. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like yogurt, milk, and cheese, have calcium. 10. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. Okay, good. So listen. Um, the 10 ways to improve your health, right? 10 formas de mejorar su salud o de mantenerse vivo, right? Eat breakfast, comer desayuno, go for a walk, ir por una caminada, ¿verdad? Aunque sea a la, a la vuelta a la esquina, floss your teeth, uh, usar el hilo dental, drink eight cups of water every day, tomar por lo menos ocho tazas de agua, ¿verdad? O, o cuatro litros, dicen algunas personas, ¿verdad? De agua cada día. Stretch five minutes. Estírense antes de comenzar su, su jornada diaria por cinco minutos. Estírense, ¿ok? Uh, o después de terminar su jornada, right? Wear a seat belt. Usen el cinturón. Que se ha comprobado que les va a salvar la vida, ¿ok? Do something to challenge your brain. Hacer algo para ejercitar, para retar el, el, el cerebro, porque el cerebro también necesita ejercicio, ¿verdad? Eh, yo les recomiendo hacer unas trivias en, en, en YouTube. Aparecen varias trivias muy bonitas de animales, de geografía, de, de todo, ¿verdad? Uh, de vez en cuando es bueno desoxidar el cerebro un poquito, right? Protect your skin. Hay que proteger la piel también. Get enough calcium. Tomen lechita, ¿verdad? Porque eso les va a ayudar para los huesos. Calcio. And take a time out. Time out. Break or about 20 minutes, right? Pueden estar muy ocupados en el día, pero tómense unos 20 minutos para relajarse, descansar, tomarse un cafecito, eh, leer algo, aunque sea un, algo en el Facebook rapidito. <risa> ¿Ok? Algo que consideren como un descanso ustedes, ¿verdad? O ir a acostarse un ratito a la hamaca por unos 15 minutos, ¿verdad? Eso les va a ayudar a sobrevivir su día y estar más sanos, ¿ok? Now, eh, to finish the class, eh, remember we're going to make the knowledge check, right? Vamos a hacer el knowledge check, este que está acá. Leemos nuevamente el artículo y vamos contestando acá. Ok, una de las opciones. Listen, please. Ok. Complete the sentences, right. Good. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much to stay in the class. Eh, a no ser que haya un aviso, vamos a seguir con las clases mañana. 
¿verdad? Este, probablemente creo que sí, Dios permita que pues tengamos la clase mañana, ¿verdad? Pero si, eh, cualquier cosa estar pendiente ahí en los anuncios del grupo, ¿ok? Eh, okay. ¿Alguna pregunta? Hoy finalizamos la sección 2, ¿verdad? Ya solo nos van quedando tres secciones, ¿ok? So, have a good night. Okay. God bless you. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. God bless you. Bye bye. God bless you.